In case you don't know, know it now. The ruling power in every territory is always at work with a man. There is a man that that power is at work with. And many times, when you start engaging territorial business, you will confront a man. You might not know who is in charge of your family until you rise and pray and fast every day for 21 days. Then suddenly you wake up in the morning and it can be your biological father that is in charge. As people will say, my uncle, my, what of your father? My uncle is always uncle. He's always auntie. What of your own father? Have you not seen the kind of thing? If you settle down and look at your father and mother, well, you will know something is wrong. Go back and do what I'm saying. Stop looking for solution. Up, settle down, look well. You will see that things are not correct. Kayanos, 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 fresh tongues, Kayanos, fresh tongues. A new depth, a new fountain, a new depth, a new fountain. Kayanos! In case you don't know, know it now. The ruling power in every territory is always at work with a man. There is a man that that power is at work with. And many times, when you start engaging territorial business, you will confront a man. You might not know who is in charge of your family until you rise and pray and fast every day for 21 days. Then suddenly you wake up in the morning. And it can be your biological father that is in charge. And he will vow, instead of you to pray the way you are praying, he will disown you. I want to put it to you that I'm not, I want you to love your parents, but you need to know that some of your parents, their hands is not neat. Some of your mothers are witches. Some of your fathers are occultic people. These occultic people and witches we are talking about... <laughs> Are you getting the point? Uh -huh. We have to accept that they are pastors sometimes. They are businessmen. They are fathers and mothers of people. Hello? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Very good. So, settle your heart for that. Sometimes when you do it, because many times people will say, my uncle, my, what of your father? My uncle is always uncle. It's always auntie. What of your own father? Have you not seen the kind of thing? If you settle down and look at your father and mother, well, you will know something is wrong. Go back and do what I'm saying. Stop looking for solution. Up, settle down, look well. You will see that things are not correct. What's the meaning of that candle that is burning in the night? Hmm? There are some things around your house that you cannot explain. Some altars, some drawings, some tokens, some totems, you cannot explain. Just because they opened Bible and went to church doesn't mean anything. No. That's the easiest way to hide occultic practices now, to be in church. That's the easiest way to hide. That's the modern way to hide occultic practices, to hide inside the churches. And that is why there is a rise of idolatry because the people that is the main people outside, they know you people now. And we just went to a meeting together. So that's why they conclude. But thank God they are just concluding for themselves. You are here now. If you are with me so far, say amen. amen. I have a body. Say, Jesus, I beg, even if it's one thing, give me an altar that can die. I know that if my altar is alive, there is hope. There is hope. Even if a tree is cut down at the center of water, if your altar is still alive, there is still hope. What Satan targets is not the things that you think is the altar that you have. If your altar can keep burning, you are not out. It's a matter of time. You will come back. Jesus. One minute. Jesus.